Hey everyone, welcome back to All About AI Tech, your go-to channel for everything AI. We've got a hot topic today that's stirring up quite a bit of controversy. Microsoft's AI boss, Mustafa Suleiman, has made some bold claims about what constitutes fair use and copyright infringement when it comes to online content. Stick around. You don't want to miss this. So, Mustafa Suleiman, who's a big shot at Microsoft and currently involved in major AI projects, recently said in an interview that the moment you publish something on the open web, it becomes freeware and anyone can freely copy it. Really? In an interview with CNBC's Andrew Ross Sorkin, Suleiman claimed that there has been a social contract since the 90s, making all content on the open web fair game. He literally said, anyone can copy it, recreate with it, reproduce with it. So, what's the big deal here, right? Here's the kicker. This understanding of fair use isn't just incorrect, it's completely misleading. In the US, the moment you create a work, it's automatically protected by copyright. No applications needed. Just because you post it on the web doesn't void your rights. Let's break this down. Copyright law says that when you create something original, it's yours. Fair use is a legal defense used in court, weighing factors like what you copied, why, and how much. Just like you wouldn't take someone's art off the wall because it's in a gallery, you can't just take web content because it's published online. Many AI companies have figured that they can just say it's fair use when they scrape the web to train their models. However, fair use isn't granted by some unspoken social contract. It's determined by the courts on a case-by-case -case basis. It's so complex that special web licenses were created to help. Now, why is this all coming up now? Maybe it has something to do with the multiple lawsuits Microsoft and its partner OpenAI are facing, alleging they've stolen copyrighted content to train their AI models. Crazy, right? Imagine being a content creator who spends years building up your work online, only for an AI to come along and just take it without permission. Content creators depend on their intellectual property to make a living. This is not just about legalities. It's about respecting hard work and originality. Fair use itself is a tricky area. Courts look at how much of the work was taken and for what purpose. Are you doing a review, a parody, or something that significantly transforms the work? Or are you just ripping someone off to train your AI? It makes a big difference. For instance, if an AI is scraping thousands of articles, the courts will consider if this impacts the market value of the original works. For instance, is the AI indirectly preventing the original content from making money? If so, that's a problem. Suleiman did mention the robots.txt file, which is essentially a way for websites to tell bots which pages not to scrape. It's like putting up a no trespassing sign, but here's the thing. It's not legally binding. Some AI companies might just ignore it. While robots.txt is part of a social contract, it's not enforceable by law. It's been around since the 90s, and while it's effective for indexing bots like Google, it's not going to stop those who really want to take your content. This confusion and misuse are likely to go through the courts. We can expect more legal battles over what AI can and can't do with online content. It's a gray area, but it's one that we'll see more definition as these cases develop. In conclusion, while AI introduces fantastic possibilities, we need to tread carefully around the ethical and legal landscape. Respecting the hard work of content creators is essential. Otherwise, we risk devaluing originality and creativity. Thanks for tuning in to this deep dive into AI, copyright, and fair use. I'm always working hard to improve the quality of our videos and build a community where we can openly discuss these fascinating topics. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Your support and feedback are incredibly valuable. Let's keep this conversation going.